Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to detect when a keyboard key or a mouse button is pressed and held down. To get started, let's go to our starter player, starter player scripts. We're going to add a local script. In your local script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring my user input service. I'm going to need that user input service to detect when a mouse button or a key is pressed. Here I have a while loop. It's an infinite while loop with a task wait of half a second. On the next line here, we're using the isKeyDown function of the user input service to detect when a key is being held down. When a key is being held down, this value here is going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So when this value is true, we know the key is being held down. Which key? It is this key right here, enum.keycode.e. That is the E key on your keyboard. So when the E key is pressed and held down, we're going to print a message. E key is held. Let's now play and take a look. I'm going to need to open up my output window. All right, so right now we have nothing inside the output window. And I'll turn around. Now, if I'm going to press the W key, nothing happens, right? R key, nothing happens. A key, D key, nothing happens. But if I press and hold down the E key, you can see the E key is held down. And it's printed multiple times because we're printing it every half a second. But let's say if I just press it now without holding it down, nothing happens. Do it again, nothing happens. Until I press and hold it down, and you see the count is going up, means it's printing another statement, E key is held. So that's how you detect when a keyboard key is pressed and held. And when, when you detect that the key is held, you can do whatever you want when that key is being held down. For more details, we can insert a print statement here. So let's say if we print, and we're just going to print this value here to see what it is. So we're going to copy this, and we'll paste it inside the print statement. We're just printing is key down to see what value it has. So basically, if you're not doing anything, if you're not pressing the key, it's going to return false. If you're pressing the key and hold it down, it's going to return true. Let's play and take a look. So we expect to see a lot of printed statements here. See, everything is false right now. You see the false statement is printed every half a second. But when I press a key, let's say if I press the R key and hold it down, nothing happens. But if I press the E key and hold it down, you see, now it's starting to print true and E key is held down until I release the key and it prints false again. Right, so that's basically how you detect when a keyboard key is pressed and held. Next, we're going to see how can we detect when a mouse button is pressed and held. So we're going to remove all these. Those are for the keyboard keys. We're going to replace it with these. The concept is the same as the keyboard keys, but instead, we're going to use this mouse button press here. Again, this whole thing here, it's going to return a boolean value. It's going to be true or false. It's going to be true when the mouse button is pressed and held. It's going to be false when the mouse button is not pressed. When we detect that the mouse button is pressed and held, in this case specifically, it's going to be the mouse button 2. So it's going to be the right click that is pressed and held. We're going to print right mouse button is held. And let's insert a print statement here, just as we did before. So I'm going to print the value of this function, I'm going to insert that into the print statement. Let's play and take a look. So we expect to see all false printed. It printed false over and over again. Every half a second, it prints another false statement because I'm not pressing anything yet. If I press and hold the left mouse button here, nothing happens. But if I press and hold the right mouse button, you can see now it's printing true, right, right mouse button is held.
So there you have it guys, that's how you detect when a keyboard key is pressed in hell or a mouse button is pressed in hell. Thank you for watching, we'll see you again soon.